Hi, my name's Philip Smith. I'm a senior centre-back and captain at St Peter's Men's Soccer. I'd heard about people going to America on scholarships and I thought there's something interesting. Um, it really intrigued me and I decided I was going to contact someone, learn more about it and found the multitude of places that I could go. Then Coach Julian reached out and he spoke to us, uh, basically sold the city, sold the team, sold what he wanted to build and why. The whole concept of playing Division 1 soccer, I was just ecstatic for that and playing at a local club level, it was, it was great, I, I have enjoyed it but I did want to further my education at the same time as trying to fulfil my aspiration of being a professional soccer player and this was one way that in America, unlike England, it really doesn't offer the kind of education path with soccer. And back home you can play university soccer or university football, it's not really that much of a big deal. Whereas here it's obviously everything almost for all of the sports. And I wanted a plan B because ideally I'd like to play professional soccer, I know it's always not always realistic, but the plan B of having that degree was vital for myself. Coming from the north of England, it's not a very diverse place at all. And coming here just experiencing 20 different cultures in the space of one street, I guess, it was awesome. I loved it. And then with New York City right over the water, 15, 20 minutes away, there's no complaints there. I mean, I've enjoyed being a tourist there. The diversity of Jersey City alone and the diversity of this team just come together. We've got so many international players, so many players from all over the world that it doesn't matter what language they speak. We've got multiple uh, languages in the team and everyone just comes together as if we were all from the same city. Okay, it feels like a family. We're essentially spending every minute we can with each other, whether it be lunch, whether it be training when when we have pre-season 5.30, 6, 6 a.m. starts together. Um, everyone's working hard for each other, pushing each other in the gym. Slowly we just started developing the team, we started bonding together. Um, it's a really, really tight knit group of players. Everyone's, everyone knows everyone, no one's left out of anything. And you can tell, my sophomore year, we reached the playoffs. And then junior year, we worked on everything from tactics to bonding to very educational everyone I guess as well and now we've gone and won the regular season with nine wins one loss and set a record that will go down in history and um, something we want to bet on next season as well definitely something we'll all remember for the rest of our lives I mean each moment it was as if we couldn't lose a game and that in that run we just felt as if we couldn't lose we were all so positive but it was just the comebacks the team togetherness was everything for us. It's essentially just a, a work hard mentality, that, like we like to call it a dog mentality. So we, we never give up. We put every, everybody puts the body on the line for the team and that's the most important thing. We always put the team before ourselves. We've got some, we've got some outstanding players and they've got to be ready. The freshmen coming in have to be ready to want to be ch challenging for that position, want to be challenging for, to be the best in the gym, to be the best in the field. But at the same time, working hard for each and every player on that team. Well, of course I'd want us to be remembered as the greatest St. Peter's men's soccer team of all time, definitely. The legacy we want to leave is we want everyone to become a part of, part of the team and work hard for each other to, to stay in that goal of being regular content, uh, contenders for the championship.